Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Dog Details TV. You know, being a dog trainer, there are two things that I notice most often with new clients. First, they have the wrong breed of dog for their skill level and their lifestyle. Second, they had always wanted that breed of dog, but never sat down to do the research and learn about the breed and its function. In fact, I don't know if the average person that is just looking for a companion dog realizes all dogs, no matter the size, shape, or cuteness factor, were originally developed to perform a certain task. Tell me if this is something you've considered before getting your own dog. Here's the thing. If you can't provide the requirements necessary to satisfy a specific dog breed's set of characteristics or purpose that it calls for, then why would you get that breed? I'm not saying that if you want a Husky, you need a sled and a place to use it. Or if you have a Dalmatian, you don't need to go out and get a coach or a horse or a fire truck. If you have a Greyhound, you don't need a stuffed rabbit and a racetrack. Although you will need a nice couch. If you've ever had a Greyhound, you'll understand that. Just because you have a Terrier, that doesn't mean you need to hunt or track small animals living in holes in the ground. But what you must do is educate yourself on the breed's history and its original purpose. If you want or have a guardian breed, you better not get mad at them when they bark out the window at somebody pushing a baby stroller down the street. Don't get surprised when they are standoffish with people, even people you know and are friendly with, because that is not bad behavior that they're displaying. They are simply performing their breed's purpose, and it's not right to punish them for that. Now, it's totally acceptable to teach them what is acceptable, and barking at your friends is not going to always be acceptable. There's a difference, though, and that's what you need to teach them. Their breed's purpose, that's in their DNA. Every dog, like I said before, was bred for a purpose. And I'm not talking about purebreds only. Mixed breeds, purebreds, it doesn't matter. Every dog has a purpose, and purpose has meaning. Of course, there are behavioral problems, and these often arise when usually a perfectly good person gets a dog because they find the breed cute or cool, but they know nothing else about it, and they don't take the time to learn the breed specifics. They might soon realize after getting the dog, it's too much for them. They can't handle it. They're ignorant to the breed's characteristics. And because of that, they might punish the dog for what they see as an undesirable behavior, which just happens to be in the dog's true nature. The dog can become confused, thinking, why won't you let me do what I'm supposed to do? 90% of the time, or maybe even 99% of the time, the human is the one at fault. The human's the one that needs the training. But the dog gets the blame 100% of the time if it's coming from an unknowledgeable owner. And that's not fair. And it's also not fair to the people that do put in the research, that learn about the breed, that do the work, and they love the breed. Because that is the breed for them. That is the right breed for them. They might need it for a specific purpose. And even if they don't, then they know enough about the breed and themselves to know that they can handle it. When a dog breed becomes ultra popular, because maybe it's featured in a movie, like the Dalmatian, and most recently, um, the Malinois has become very popular in movies. Everyone seems to want one, and unfortunately, they can have really negative side effects for the breed and its supporters. So, a Dalmatian will be too much of a handful for the average person. And the average person, sure as heck, won't be able to handle a Malinois. In fact, that can be dangerous if you don't have an understanding of the breed. So, then what happens? Well. Some people will wind up rehoming their dog or sending them to the pound. But by this time, 
that dog is going to have serious behavioral problems that were caused by a person. And that person oftentimes will spread misinformation based on the choice they made not to educate themselves about the dog breed, along with their personal experience that they had with the dog. But you see, that's just their opinion. It's not the truth. It's their point of view. So if you have or want a dog, just be responsible. Don't just get a dog because you think he's cute or cool. Research, respect, and understand the breed's purpose, what it was originally bred to do, and be honest with yourself in knowing if you can handle those characteristics for the long term. Thank you so much for listening and see you again on another episode of Dog Details TV.